Hey, what's going on? This is Tropic Mango, um, and I gotta say, I'm pretty nervous about tomorrow, and that's not how I should start a commentary. Anyway, I'm here playing Halo Le um, Legendary Edition. Is, is that what I'm fucking playing? Don't mind that phone. I'm sorry, I'm playing Halo Anniversary Edition. And I haven't played any of the Halo games in two years, because I've been playing COD. I want to be cool, I want to be hip, I gotta say COD. Um, so yeah, I haven't had any time to play this game at all. Nice. Anyway, uh, I shouldn't even be playing right now. Uh, I have a CDL test in the morning at about 8 a.m. Over in the... Uh, next to uh, the White Castle in Cherry Hill where Harold and Kumar went. Uh, I'm gonna kill that guy. Boom! So I'm pretty nervous. I've been studying most of uh, this week and uh, la this morning and most of tonight because it's nighttime now. And I gotta stop playing the game so I can go study a little bit more and get a good rest because I have to be up by 5 in the morning because it's about an hour and 40 minute drive from where I live to get to Cherry Hill. This will be my fourth time taking the test. In reality, only my third because the fr first one didn't really count. I went with a trailer and the truck and the trailer had no registration so that I wasn't even able to do anything why did I get myself in the corner so th like I said now uh, my third time second time I failed because uh, honestly I didn't really go to trucking school at all I pretty much whatever I learned I learned from my brother I try to go in there again like an idiot yeah, I learned everything from my brother, and um, I, I was working on trying to get my CDL from him. So when I took the test, uh, pretty much I didn't know anything. I failed the, the pre-trip, which is pretty pathetic. If you fail the pre-trip, that means you didn't study at all. And to be honest, I <laughs> didn't even realize that the pre-trip was one of the first things you do. That, that goes to show you the length uh, that I studied. God, that bastard. Second time I failed the air brake test, uh, but I ended up doing, um, I mean that's the third time, but technically really the second time. Uh, I failed the air brake test, so, but I did parallel parking, alley, dock, back, forth, and stuff like that, so I, I passed that, that was pretty good. And this time I did everything, I studied, made sure everything, so uh, tomorrow, when tomorrow comes I should be uh, another statistic in the CDL market. Does that even make sense? No, probably not. But yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to do that. Um, Halo. I'm going to talk about the game now. Halo, wow. Uh, like I said, I haven't played this in two years. And I got to say, man, this game is fun. I, I forgot how fun it is. I This is my second game actually playing. So I had to get used to the controllers again. And I, I, look, I'm not even jumping. I should, like, there. That I jumped, and that's what I should have done. Uh, and I keep the same gun. There are other people with their, their backup pistol, and I don't have that because I don't switch to it. Which I'm an idiot, but I should. But, yeah, playing this game again. Oh, my God, that's so fun. And you, uh, I, I got to say, I got into lobbies where I didn't hear, like, 10-year-olds squeaking and talking crap about somebody's mom and somebody being gay which is amazing because I I thought that's one of the reasons I left this game and then which is stupid because then in Call of Duty they do the same thing but uh, yeah I got into a lobby with some people and uh, they were fun to play with I was having a good time with these guys and I actually uh, did pretty good I came in second overall well oh, spoiler alert but I, uh, I did pretty good at the beginning, and I tend to, like, start dying towards the end. Look, I'm going to wait for this guy right here. Because I'm like, I know he's going to come up. Bam! Oh, shotgun or whatever. Pistol. I don't understand how I killed him, though. That makes no sense. So, you now there we go. We got a uh, sticky grenades. One of the cornerstones of Halo. Oh, I'm gonna go hit this guy, but then he like gets on fire and kills me. I don't know what that means either. That must be something new for this game. 
Must be either he's the highest ranking player right now and in the in this lobby, I mean. Or something like that, I'm not really sure. I was gonna bash him, but then I started like uh, pretty much shooting him. But I got him. I got him. It's all good. And this thing actually remembered what level I was, so that was kind of fun. And to be honest, it's actually pretty low level. Crap. See, I don't know where the guns are, so I don't pick up any new guns. And I'm just playing the game with this, with the friggin' assault rifle over here and trying to get kills. And I'm assuming all, all over the maps there should be other map, uh, other weapons in the map. Or, because I don't think you can set up your own thing. And, oh, look at that. I don't know how I died. Did, was that betrayal? I keep looking at this video again and I'm like, who killed me? That, I don't even know how to do that either. I gotta, I gotta learn that. What else? What else can I say? Um, I'm about to die. That's what I should say. <laughs> anyway, every every uh, transition basically means I I died. So it, I wanted to cut the video short because most of the I know YouTubers usually post a video six seven minutes long, and I used to post 13 14 minutes videos and nobody used to watch them. So I realized that if you're shorter and you actually have something interesting, to, uh, what the heck is wrong with me? You have something interesting to say. Then uh, people will watch your videos, and of course, did I kill that guy? Yeah, I did. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope I pass tomorrow. Tropic out. Later. Bye, Halo.